tonight. He's going to tell us in the race or out of the race. Joins us former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. John Bolton. And of course, I've been hounding you ever since you said you're going to decide after Labor Day. Labor Day has now passed. In or out? Uh, I've decided not to run for president. Uh, it was a very difficult decision. Uh, and my view has not changed one iota that we need a much more robust discussion of national security issues as part of this presidential campaign. Uh, and I say that not because I have an abstract interest in foreign policy, but because the policies that President Obama has been pursuing are extremely harmful uh, to the nation now and into the future. And unless we start talking about them, I don't think we're able to fix them with a new president. The, to the, I will say this, though, for the candidates. We ask them domestic questions. We ask them questions about the economy. And I, I realize they sort of reflect on our national security as a whole around the world. Even, I think, Secretary Clinton and, and former Secretary Gates used to talk about how, how the our economic situation put us at risk. Um, but is it, I mean, that may come. I mean, I expect that discussion to come. Well, part of the problem is, you know, we're not going to elect the new president tomorrow, and he's not going to take office the day after that. Obviously, people are concerned about our domestic economy, but we're going to have an election in 14 months for four years that end in January of 2017, and the issues are going to be different down the road, and I think national security is going to be a more important priority. If we don't know what the Republican candidates think, beyond bumper sticker phrases here or there, uh, then I think it gives Obama an advantage that we shouldn't let him have given how deleterious his policies have been for the past two and a half years. Why has it been such a hard decision? Because I kept coming to the conclusion that I couldn't possibly win the nomination and I didn't like that answer. So I went back and revisited uh, my assumptions and the data. I think I uh, would have had a lot of support. I think I could have raised money. But I think the political commentariat here in Washington is convinced uh, that foreign policy is not a winning issue. I don't think that's right. I think for the voters, especially in Republican primaries, the deep, very strong feelings of patriotism that they have, their uh, antipathy toward a president who's constantly apologizing for America and who looks and is weak and indecisive uh, is a powerful motivating force that some presidential candidate's going to capture. So is it a bit of a heartbreak I mean, to want something and to think you can do a good job at it but be more sort of pragmatic about it knowing what the, the, what the discussion is? Well, I think you have to be realistic about yourself above uh, all other things. And don't get me wrong, I'd love to be president. But I didn't get into this because of a desire to hold the office. I, I did it because I, I was and in concern that our nation is sleepwalking into crises internationally, whether it's the continuing threat of terrorism, the continuing proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, dealing with Russia and China and their uh, assertiveness around the world where the Obama administration has no policy at all. You know, there'll be a debate in September, October of next year on live TV, 60 or 90 minutes on national security. And by then, Obama will have uh, had three and a half years in office. He'll be very good at pretending to be commander in chief. And if the Republican nominee isn't ready to take him on, Obama will walk away from an issue where he should be very badly tagged. So uh, I take it that uh, with your, with your uh, interest in this, that you're not going to totally step out of it in the sense that I imagine that uh, you will be involved in the dialogue, endorse a candidate, have a particular interest in a candidate. Um, have, you, I mean, have you given that any thought? Well, I haven't decided exactly what to do, but I can tell you I'm going to New Hampshire on Thursday to speak at Nashua to a group of Republicans. Uh, now that uh, I've removed this nimbus from the horizon about a campaign, I can go uh, and just talk about the substance of the issue, and that's why national security uh, ought to be more of a priority in the debate because of the, the damage that President Obama is doing to the country. Who do you think has right now, a lot can change, but I mean, if you, if you, if you had to commit now in sense of who is the strongest on national security or one that, that, that sort of for, for you? Well, I think there needs to be more debate uh, among the candidates. I thought, Does that mean you're uncertain at this point? Right. Just before he dropped out, Governor Paul Lenny was actually uh, talking, I think, in the, at, at greater length than in the right direction. The one Republican candidate I would rule out at this point is Ron Paul, uh, whose views, for example, on Iran's nuclear weapons program are not dissimilar from President Obama's. He doesn't apparently think it's very serious. I, I think it's very serious indeed. But my, my larger point is that national security has to be a larger part of the Republican platform, because I think, just as a political matter, it aligns President Obama's failures as a leader, failures internationally, failures domestically. Well, selfishly, it means that we still have you to come in and, uh, and talk to us uh, quite uh, easily. I suppose it's harder to get uh, the candidates who are roaming around the nation to get them in. But Ambassador, nice to see you. Thank you.